So in this video, I am going to answer once and for all if it is possible to gain muscle mass from doing body weight calisthenics alone. Okay, so I got this question today uh, in Instagram, and it was, um, that's all just from diet, parentheses, obviously, cardio and body weight movements, i.e. dips, pull-ups, push-ups, etc. It just seems like one would need to lift weights to achieve those muscular gains. Okay, a lot of people think that calisthenics do not work, okay, to uh, gain muscle. And I don't believe that's true. Okay, and I'm going to give you a, a few reasons, just really quick, in no particular order. First of all, if you don't think that it works, you're not going to put a lot of effort into it, a lot of consistency, a lot of time. You're not going to find the best way because you already believe it's not going to work. So because of that, well, of course it's not going to work. Okay, it's just like somebody who believes he can't get out of debt. A, a person who believes he can't, uh, you know, go up to a girl in a bar and talk to her and, and, and start a conversation and go on a date, okay? If you don't believe it, you're not going to try it. Or if you do try it, it's going to be kind of half-assed and be like, yeah, I tried that one time and it never worked, okay? So, first of all, you just really need to believe that it's going to be possible. And I think that's the reason why most people who are serious about size or strength go off to lift weights and they don't even try calisthenics. Okay, another thing. The few people who actually do calisthenics tend to be skinny. There's one guy, I don't, I'm not going to mention his name because I don't want people to think I'm a hater, okay? Uh, you know, respect for what he's achieved. He's got a pretty decent, you have, uh, pretty decent uh, YouTube channel. You know, he's accomplished a few things and he does only body weight and he's really kind of skinny. He's not a very muscular guy. Now, the thing is this, however, he's known for saying, I don't use any supplements and, you know, his idea of like, uh, like, a, like a shake is like a protein shake is he takes some almond milk, puts it in a blender, puts a banana in it, and then puts in a tablespoon of peanut butter. Okay. Well, almond milk has like practically no protein. Okay, practically no fat. And a banana has like literally no protein and fat. And, you know, peanut butter is okay, but what's one tablespoon of peanut butter going to do for you? Okay, what I'm basically saying is the people who tend to do calisthenics tend to be the people who are not eating exactly like bodybuilders. Okay, they're not eating a lot of calories, they're not eating a lot of protein, they're not eating a lot of fat. And because of that, of course, that's going to affect the amount of muscle they can build up. Okay, now here is my absolute favorite reason why people cannot build muscle with calisthenics. And that's because, probably because they believe that it's impossible, they never really try. Okay? Uh, you know, you see people doing these like jerky half movements, okay? They're like, you know, uh, uh, you know and, and they're like, oh, pull-ups don't work. They don't build anything. Okay, great. Well, let's do this. Let me go into the gym, okay? Put like a million pounds on the squat bar and do like an eighth rep. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, I just squat like five trillion pounds and, uh, you know, I'm not even big and I'm not even sore. Weightlifting doesn't work. Okay, fine. Let me take off 90% of the weight and now do a squat where I go really down, thighs par uh, below parallel, you know, pause and then, you know, push up, okay? And start doing squats like that. I recently started on a really hardcore calisthenics routine using just body weight alone. Let me tell you something. It is amazing how weak and how scrawny I am for a guy who's, quote, in shape, okay? If you do these exercises properly, it takes an enormous amount of strength, okay? If you do the exercises properly. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you today, one of the last exercises I did was ring push-ups, okay? Now, let's see. Okay, first of all, it's like a quote easy exercise, so I did it at the end. I'd already done ring dips, I'd done chin-ups, pull-ups, body weight rows, handstand, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I was already tired doing the easy exercise, which made the easy exercise hard. Okay, 
Um, I did them on rings. I didn't just go ahead and do them on the floor. Okay. And a lot of people, when they do push-ups, for instance, they'll just go ahead and be like, <clears throat> okay, I did them on the rings. I didn't squeeze the handles. I kept my hands open, which it gives the exercise an entirely different feel. Okay. And I didn't drop myself down. I lowered myself down. Okay. Under tension. I went as far as I could and I held it there for a second just so when I push up, it's pushing up from a dead, from like a dead stop. Okay. Push myself up and I brought the rings together and got like a really good squeeze in my chest. I did five sets of 10 push ups at the end. The first two or three sets were like extremely hard. Okay. I was shaking doing them. And then for like the rest of the third set and the fourth or fifth set, I couldn't do that pause at the end. I'm not strong enough. Okay. Now, how many people are going to try to do this with proper form? Okay. Like I said, compare going all the way down as far as you can, holding it for a sec, then from a dead stop, pushing up and squeezing your pecs in as you bring the rings together. Compare that to somebody who just goes, uh, uh, uh. he doesn't use a full range of motion. He doesn't you get the eccentric part of the of the exercise where he lowers himself because he just drops himself. Okay, he bounces out of it basically because he doesn't pause at the bottom. Okay, and like I said, he doesn't feel the exercise by like bringing his chest into it, bringing the rings together. It's the same thing with chin ups. Okay, let's say we're gonna do chin ups. How many people go ahead and go like, uh, 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 uh. yeah, man, chin ups don't work. I don't feel them anywhere in my arms or my back, anything. Okay, compare that to. Take your uh, take take your uh, your hands, put them together, bring yourself all the way up so that the bar is touching the bottom of your chest. Squeeze, and then two second hold, and then slowly lower yourself down. Okay, bring it back up again. Get a good two second hold. Okay, do that for five times. I was a bouncer for a long time in, um, you know, in, in Germany. I, I ran MMA events. I knew a lot of guys that weight trained, a lot of guys that, you know, did steroids. I knew a lot of guys that could do stuff like, you know, they could, they, they could press amazing amounts of weight over their head. They couldn't do one single full range handstand push up. Okay. They could, I mean, one of my friends, his son was huge too. He'd be on the lat pull down machine. His son would be pushing on his shoulders to keep him from like flying through the roof. And he'd be lifting weights, like doing the lat pull down with more, more than his own body weight. He weighed like 230, 250, I don't know. And he'd be lifting like 50 pounds more, 75 pounds more than his own body weight is. How come he couldn't do a single pull up? Okay, and I'm not talking about absolute perfect form. I'm just talking get your chin up over the bar somehow. Okay? So what I'm basically trying to say is calisthenics do work, but you have to believe that they will work, which means you have to look for a way to make the exercise harder, get the absolute most out of the exercise when you do them. Another thing I didn't mention is you need to get the volume up. Okay, don't spend two hours in the weight room lifting weights and then do like a 10 minute, you know, do a couple push-ups, do a couple chin-ups and say that, well, you know, calisthenics don't work. You also need with calisthenics, a certain amount of volume, repetitions, sets. You just need to put some time in lifting yourself, just like you can't do one set of bench and one set of squats and go home. Okay. Um, and like I said, you know, once again, in keeping with this belief that it's impossible to build weight, uh, to build body weight with calisthenics, you need to eat like you want to get stronger and bigger. So yes, it certainly is possible. Um, like I said, I recently started on this new program. So you'll see in the videos, you'll see in my Instagram, as time goes on, the way I alter my diet, the way I alter my exercises, and uh, hopefully the way I alter my body using nothing but body weight calisthenics.